We start developing the show about three years ago. It's the first major exhibition that he has in Cologne, in the Museum Ludwig, uh, in his hometown. First, we wanted to have it only from the uh, late 80s. But then in 2005 and 2006, Richter painted the Wald series and the Cage series. From that point on, we were absolutely sure that we wanted to have these new bodies of work in the show and take these latest major works uh, as a starting point of the exhibition. We prefer not starting in the past and going back to the present, but the other way around, to start with the present, with the recent work, trying to follow the roots uh, and go back to where it started. It was from the beginning that we only have a very small exhibition in terms of the number of works. The complete exhibition is not more than 40 paintings, but as we can see, it's uh, the large abstracts, so that we really concentrated on, on major, from our point of view, very important paintings and works from the period of 1986 to 2008. The development that we can see here is that the painting is becoming more dense, that the density of the surface uh, is really increasing in these 20 years of works. Richter uh, told me that for him, the perception of his paintings, or the act of perceiving the paintings, is always the same. It doesn't matter if you have a realistic painting or if you have uh, an abstract painting. The process is the same. The understanding, of course, is much different because for a realistic painting, we have the language. We can describe what we see. We can name the things that are on the paintings, whereas in the abstract words, we have no language. Richter always says it's pretty easy for him to start a painting. He's not scared of the vast void of the white canvas. So he puts on a, a layer of some color, of some forms, that he really doesn't much care about. And then the process is that it's becoming more and more complicated. In a certain way, he also mentions that uh, he is a kind of prisoner of the painting. And the farer he gets, the more complicated it becomes. You see that it's a kind of a process where he is reaching some point where he thinks, well, this looks pretty good. And then he stays with it for, for hours, for days, even for weeks and then it's, it's finished. He's, he, and he says, if I understand it completely, then it becomes boring and he tries to change it. The final painting is then when he has the feeling that the painting is something that's, that's better than him, that's uh, beyond his, his thoughts and his ideas, and that there is nothing left for him to do at the paintings. Richter always said that for him there are not different styles and not different ways of perceiving painting, but the, the, that it's all the same for him, that the abstract words are as realistic as the realistic works are abstract. <laughs> 